Checkmate King 2, this is King Tiger. Checkmate King 2, this is King Tiger. Come in, Checkmate King 2. Come in, Checkmate King 2. Come in, King Tiger. Checkmate King 2, this is King Tiger. Come in, King Tiger. Come in, Checkmate King 2. came from, but we're sure glad to see you. That tank had us in a bump in there an hour. Well, if you'd stuck to the high ground, you wouldn't have got yourself pinned down. Bubble. You alone? My number two man got killed about a mile back. You gonna wander around the hills with that thing, or you belong to somebody? Are you Saunders, 2nd Squad, K Company, 361st? That's right. I belong to you, Sergeant. Combat. Selmer Production. Talk to you, Billy. I'm a courier taking a message from Lieutenant Hanley to the sergeant. Oh, yeah? What's up? You know better than to ask a courier a question like that. We're moving out. Moving out? You heard me. Ooh, where to? There you go again, pumping me, Billy. Well, I, I was only trying to find You're out. You're taking advantage of a friendship to get information. A place called Vouvray. It seems there's a little farmhouse on a hill. Little John, that uh, farmhouse on the hill, has it got any crops in it? Ain't they always? Mm -hmm. Hey, how's that new corporal doing? Who, Cross? Is that his name or his disposition? <laughs> Both. John Cross. You know, something really strange about him. I mean, the way he keeps to himself all the time. I'll bet he hasn't said more than two words to me since he joined the outfit. Well, that's probably because you're all the time talking, Billy. Never give him a chance. It goes deeper than that. I mean, there's something really wrong with him, Little John. You know how I am about sensing things. Yeah, like the time you sensed there were no Germans on Omaha Beach. Well, the trouble with you, Billy, is you worry too much. Why don't you just relax and enjoy the war like the rest of us? 
Well, you mark my words, little John. That fella Cross has got a problem. So have we, Billy. A little farmhouse on a hill. <laughs> Take the main road to Vivray, then swing south from there. The farmhouse is situated on a steep rise just beyond the break in the timber line. Well, what's, what's so important about that place, Sarge? According to Lieutenant Hanley, the regiment is regrouping for a flanking move to the north. The Germans have a big battery of guns here at Marmere. We tried to knock them out, but couldn't. So we're going to have to go around. This farmhouse has a commanding view of the entire area in all directions. Our job is to deny the enemy the high ground. Keep them blind so they can't see what's going on down below. We take it, hold it, until such time as we're ordered off. If that ground's so important to them, why'd they send a squad up there? Why'd they send a company? They don't want to draw attention. How many Germans are there? They don't know for sure, maybe none at all. We'll find that out when we get there. Great. <laughs> How do we always manage to get these stinking details? If we make you feel any better, Kirby, G Company is sending up a squad of men to secure a hill on our flank. We're just a cog in a wheel. Well, I don't know about you, Sarge, but this cog's getting a little tired of being shot at. It wouldn't be so bad if there's any future in it, like uh, maybe even getting promoted once in a while. Of course, when that time comes, they go bring somebody in from the outside that uh, ain't even walked a mile with his squad. I didn't hear you kick him across, took that tank off your back, Kirby. You ready to move out within the hour? Any questions? Well, go ahead, ask him. Sarge. How do you feel about bicycles? Bicycles? Yeah, little John just bought one. If we're not coming back here, I'd hate to leave it behind. We could take it along and it'd make us kind of mechanized, I could carry the other guy's packs, extra ammo. This is an infantry squad, little John, not a circus act. Meaning I can't. Well, that's war. Little John, talk to the mess sergeant. Maybe he'll haul it in the kitchen truck for you. Hey, I never thought of that. Saddle up. Cross? I'm sorry the way Kirby sounded off before. There's one in every outfit. Yeah. Cross? I understand you with the 423rd. That's right. They fought their way up through Rouen, didn't they? Mortage, Gurney, Neon. I let them just outside of Vernon. You know, I can't get over the fact that for once they sent us a man who's been around. Usually it's some recruit fresh out of basic training or cooks in Baker School. Why don't you just ask me, Sergeant? Ask you? Why I was transferred. That's what this third degree is for, isn't it? You're one of those sergeants who just has to know all about the man under him, especially the next in command, isn't that right? Well, isn't it? I think you've got me mixed up with the chaplain. You don't have to tell me anything. Sergeant. Look, I don't hire and fire. I just work here. I do like I'm told. I was told to climb a hill and who to take with me. You're one of them. We leave in 30 minutes, double basic load of ammunition, light machine gun, and rations for three days. If anything happens to you on that hill... Then you're in command unless you want to take off those stripes. Bring up the rear and be your getaway man, huh? I didn't say that. You meant it! Look, Cross, we'd all be in the ground if you hadn't taken that tank office in that clearing. All of us. But don't expect me to spend the rest of the war thanking you for it. I don't expect anything from you, Sergeant. Then just stay two paces off my tail and one to the right and we'll get along just fine. Thirty minutes. <laughs> Sarge says to hurry it up with that gun. Ah. Uh, ever get the feeling we do all the work around here, Cage? <laughs> I mean, the uh, squad needs a new machine gun, so who goes and gets it? Us. Things all full of grease, who's going to clean it? Us. Don't you ever get tired of griping, Kirby? It's a sign of a good soldier, boy. Ain't that right, Cage? They say that. Uh, I leave it bowing down and bucking to you guys, little John. Extra stripe on my sleeve don't mean nothing to me. You were busted once, weren't you, Kirby? Twice. Never was under in my service record, though, because uh, I was just an acting squad leader. I just can't picture you as a non-com, Kirby. Well, why not? I just can't. I had the best squad in the outfit. Now, why'd you get busted? It was politics. But look, it ain't what you know in this man's army, buddy. It's who you know. No, you, you, you take that uh, 
That new fella, Cross, does an example. Of what? Of politics. I mean, he's a good enough soldier, you can see that, but uh, still that didn't stop him from transferring him. Now, you can bet he didn't request it either, because uh, he was just sold down the river without so much as a buy your leave. You check into it. You probably find that our new corporal just stepped on somebody's toes. Anybody who knows about stepping on toes, it'll be you, Kirby. Why don't you drop dead, you big ox? Stop paying attention to him, little John. He's his own worst enemy. You want to bet? Ah, what a sore head. Now, ah, that old cross just probably stepped on somebody's toes real good. Ready to move out, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Keep your radio fired up. I'm going to want to keep in contact with you at all times. Now, Saunders, no matter what happens, you're on your own. If anything goes wrong, we can't make any major moves to help you. Not for at least 24 hours. If we can run those guns at Memere, cut them off, we can save days, maybe weeks of fighting. You and your squad are buying time for the regiment. Questions? One, Cross. What about him? That's what I would like to know, Lieutenant. I'll talk to you about it when you get back. Why not now? If he's got a problem, I could make that hill higher to climb. He's a good man, Sergeant. If he wasn't, I wouldn't have assigned him to you. You know that. Yeah. Sergeant, I'll see you when you get back. Good luck. Thanks. All right, let's straighten out. Come on, let's move. Kirby, you. You and Cage give Billy and little John a hand with that air cold. All right. Wait a minute. You and Billy expecting rain, little John? Well, no, not exactly, Sarge. You see, we'll turn around. Yeah, I see. I thought I told you to load that bike on the kitchen truck. I did. That is, I tried to. The mess sergeant only had room for the body and fenders. Yeah, he, he had to offload a crate of powdered eggs even for that. You sure this is going to be too much for you to carry? Because if it is, we can leave the machine gun here. I can handle it, Sarge. Oh, I'm glad. Cross! Go! Move him out. All right, route step, let's go. You stay put. Let's go.
You cross. You're gonna let that cop take the sergeant. My rifle jam. You're a liar. He's a liar, Sarge. Shut up, Kirby. Look, he was gonna let him. I said shut up. Go on down the hill. Bring up the others. Go on, move. Told Kirby. Your gun jammed. I 
they're going to leave us up here? The sergeant said 24 hours or more. <laughs> Maybe less if the Germans find out we moved in. Yeah. Hey, little John. Yeah? I checked the headspace on this thing five times already, and I still can't pull the trigger. Tighten the barrel? Yeah. Back it off one click? I thought it was one turn. One click. You know, it's amazing how much you know about weapons. No, I mean it. The way, the way you handle water cools, air cools, carbines, M1s, everything. All right, let's have it. What? Well, you're not building me up for nothing. Did you do something wrong, Billy? Well, it wasn't my fault. What wasn't? I heard a hiss as we were coming over the wall at the foot of the hill. A hiss? Yeah, well, I must have caught it on a sharp rock or something. What caught? The tire, look. Flat as a pancake. I told you to be careful, Billy. Well, it was an accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's so funny? I was thinking maybe Doc could fix it. He's good at patching things up. Well, you better get him to work on our friendship. Because I'm just about ready to split the blanket with you, Billy. Well, I said I was sorry. Well, you don't act it. You have any idea how far it is between inner tubes in this country? Nothing I like better than burying Germans in the rain. Been able to race Lieutenant Henley yet? About ten minutes ago. He said he'd check with us on the hour starting at midnight. Good. Kirby? You! You and Case take over guard after bullying Little John. All right. Let's see you get some sleep. Cross! I want to talk to you. time, Cross. What happened down there in that cellar? Like I told you. Your gun didn't jam. All right, I froze. I won't buy that either. Then what will you buy, Sergeant? That I'm a coward? You're no coward. You prove that. Then why don't you get off my back? Because you owe me an explanation. I don't owe you anything. Remember me, I'm the guy who's supposed to stay two paces off your tail and one to the right and everything will be just fine. Well, not anymore. From now on, you stay right in front of me. Where I can keep an eye on you. I was right about you, wasn't I, Sergeant? You're the kind who has to know all about the men under him. Just the ones that might get me killed. Sergeant, somebody's coming. the other one.
Yeah. Yeah, I got him. to me. Give it a chance. It just started to boil. Better add another shot of coffee. You want to drink it or paint with it? Look, Davis, who's in charge of this detail anyway? You or me? You. And uh, whose helmet is this? Yours. The coffee? I'll put in another shot. Hey, Doc! Look what I found out behind the barn. You think it'll work? We can try. Be ready in a minute. Yeah, that ought to do it. Give me a probe. Now we just trip that valve, open it up. If you ever decide to give up medicine, you could open up a garage. Hey, hello, John. The sergeant sent you out to reconnoiter. I did. I scouted all along the back side of the hill. I didn't see anything. I'll tell the sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's getting light now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will. Roger. Out. It's been slowed down by the storm. I need another 12 hours, maybe more if the weather doesn't break. Uh, meaning we gotta stay here till everybody else is safe and sound, right? Then they'll let us fight our way back to the outfit. That's what the man said. The man's expecting an awful lot if you ask me. Nobody asked you, Kirby. Hey, Sergeant. Little John says it's all clear in the back. Let's hope it stays that way. Where's Cross? I haven't seen him. Did you look under the beds? Just trying to help. Sergeant. Yeah, drunk. 
roaring. Here, help yourself. What more of that came from? I had my own private stock. Of course, it's a little the worse for wear. I think if we play our cards right and ration it out very carefully, we ought to have enough left here to last till the end of the war. What do you say we stay here and drink until it's all over, Sergeant? Hmm? The duration plus six. Let the other guys get the glory and get shot at. We'll stay right down here and wait it out where it's quiet and peaceful. What do you say? No. You're still burned at me. You're burned at me because I let that chairman crawl your back. Well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I mean, if I was you. Well, I'm not you, am I? I'm your next in command. What did I say? No, what did, what did you say? You said I had you mixed up with the chaplain. <laughs> Boy, how could I make a mistake like that? You don't get anything like a chaplain. You have no forgiveness in your eyes, Sergeant. No compassion. Did anybody ever tell you that? Anybody ever tell you a man might have a reason for what he does? Like letting that crowd put a bayonet in my back? You think I wanted that to happen, didn't you? No, but you were afraid it might. Yes! Why? Because there was another hill? Because there was another farmhouse, just like this one. I thought you didn't want to know about my problem, Sergeant. What happened on that hill? A man died. There wasn't a German within ten miles. A man died. We were sent up the hill just before dark. Seven of us. Sergeant Colton's squad. He let out and I was right behind him, just like always. He told us to stay closed up because the light was going fast. And then when we got to the top of the hill, we fanned out. And I went in the barn. I was alone and it was dark. And when I turned around to come back out, I saw something move. It was a shadow of a man. And so I fired. And there was a scream. And the other guys came running and somebody found a lantern and lit it. Even before the light went on, I knew who it was. It was Sergeant Colton. I killed him. Well, I picked him up and I carried him all the way down that hill. And I wouldn't let anybody touch him. And they tried to tell me it was an accident. But all I could hear was that scream. Night and day for a week, just that scream. And then when I came out of it, I was in an evac hospital. They kept me there for a while. And they gave me a choice. I could transfer to another line outfit or Stay there and take my chances with a Section 8. So you took the line? I thought I could work it out. How many dead men do you figure to leave behind before you do? I tried. Like you're trying now? With a bottle? It's easy for you to talk. Easy? You think I never lost a man because I made a mistake? It's not the same. I'm alive. They're dead. The only difference between us cross is I haven't got my head stuck in some wine cellar feeling sorry for myself. Come on, take it. Enjoy it while you can, because when we get back, I'm going to make sure they just throw the whole book at you. We're not getting back. <laughs> 
Sergeant. We're never going to get off this hill. Crops are probably on their way up right now. The German. The one in the barn. What about him? I let him get away. I tried to kill him and I couldn't. I swear I tried. I I we got company. They took cover just out of range. How many? Twenty at least. Maybe more. What are they waiting for? Listen. Water. Get down. Here we come. It's a good way. It's the only way. There'd always be another hill. I told you we should have stayed out the war in that cellar. Where it's quiet, peaceful. I've ever been kicked off a hill like that. 
Well, it won't be the last. Sergeant, there were just too many of them. Sorry, little John. I still got the body and fenders. Sergeant. It's Lieutenant Hanley. This is King Tiger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we did. Roger. Out. Any word in the regiment, Sergeant? Yeah, they made it. Hey, how about that? Storm gave them cover. Well, it turned out they didn't need us on the high ground after all. That's the way it goes. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Thank you.